So if Republican Spain survives for a little bit longer here, we might be able to send some volunteer forces to protect them. Again, it's kind of interesting because uh, it, it, more than likely Republican Spain would be communist anyways. It, but it would give us the opportunity to maybe support more kind of democratic ideas. Um, there is, obviously that's the national focus that I would be going for. Um, but I, I believe that we would need it to be Republican Spain. I, no, not necessarily. So it can be National Spain too. Either way, they can't be at war though. That's the whole thing. Original countries, Republican Spain, but affect either Republican Spain or Nationalist Spain gains democratic leanings. So either way, it doesn't really matter. However, it does at the same time because Republican Spain has more democratic ideas. They've got more democratic support than Nationalist Spain. Nationalist Spain's got like none, like 1% or something. I'm pretty sure they end up getting like 1%. Um, also, the German, German Reich, Soviet Union, Poland are not going to like that. Um, opinion of Republican Spain, negative 30. Interesting. Gangs, national spirit, democratic influence, 0.1 accepted. So if I'm reading this correctly, that I think is what will go down. Something like that. We're going to see right now. Um, so over the break, I did do a little bit of uh, army modifications. I added a little bit more support. Figured out what was going on with this, these divisions here. Uh, right now that they're training, I did deploy them. Uh, I'm also going to group up my, my navy so that, first of all, uh, they have a commander, and second of all, they, uh, let's see, who do you, number of ships in first contact, 25%. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah, that's pretty dang good. Um, that sounds like a good idea. Okay, let's give you this guy. I'm just saying this guy, and he's probably like some super famous uh, naval admiral or whatever. Uh, okay, and then we'll continue to patrol here. I know that we don't necessarily need a patrol. We probably don't. We definitely don't. Uh, I also gave them uh, the fighters as well. So I put those uh, those naval fighters um, in that in that in that fleet. So that's good. Um, we're in need of. Uh, let's see here. We're actually in. We're in a surplus of steel. For now, because I'm trading with, because uh, I'm trading with America. Uh, we actually don't need as much oil. No, yeah, we do. Yes, we do. I don't know why I didn't think we needed oil. Let's go ahead and grab some oil. We're going to grab some of our oil. There we go. Uh, I don't know why I accidentally canceled that, but now we have it again. Uh, we're also starting to build, build... Okay, so yeah, I figured out what was going on with these divisions. Uh, they didn't have any support equipment. We don't have the factories. That's going to come with time, though. I mean, military factories will be able to build more support equipment. With time, we're going to be okay. Uh, we're also going to start to eventually build our first motorized divisions. Um, and then hopefully we build light tanks a little bit faster in the future. But uh, right now, we're just waiting for construction. And I'm actually focused a little bit more heavily on my, uh, on, on the, on the construction here of my civilian, uh, my military factories, I apologize. So, we should be able to build, we'll be able to kind of, you know, press those a little bit more forward. They should be done by December, I believe, right? Yes, December 9th. Okay, so let's go up to speed 5 here. Yeah, so they both should be done by December 9th. That's one, at least, and then they'll move on to the next one. Uh, so that's going to be a little bit more helpful. Uh, Logistics-wise, I mean, slowly we're catching up to... Actually, we've got enough infantry equipment. So if I really wanted to, um, and I think I will because we really need some other things. Yeah, I I'm going to start to pull away from... Uh, this is not always the best of ideas, but let's go ahead and start to pull away from these guys because we really need to start working other things. Let's go, to, let's go to 7. Let's go down to 7. Support equipment... We already know that we need motorized. Okay, let's stay there. Let's stay there like that. See how we're looking logistically now. And we just need to put a dent at least in the support equipment. There we go. Okay, well, we're gonna be working that much better. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, so we finished the heavy tanks, even though they're very out of date. Uh, research bonus for armored uh, technology. That that would be actually pretty nice. But we can't do that yet. Uh, the whole goal was to go after. Um, sending, where was that even at? Jeez, I don't even remember. Uh, sending, oh, it's over here. There it is right there. So it is, is it 31st? Oh my gosh, we still have technically another month before we can jump into this get national unity. And then even this, even this is still not until 1938. 
to, we can send uh, volunteer forces. It's definitely possible that Spain still stays alive for the next year. Sometimes these civil wars end up staying for a very long time. But, uh, yeah. Then, uh, then we need to do something else. Obviously, we sh I, uh, we can force them to stay on our side. I mean, I don't think that they they changed anything else, right? British austerity, consumer good factory. Ah, uh, that would be good to use my factories a little uh, a little bit more. Add naval dockyard. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and go with that. Not really worried about any of my colonies falling to something else. Maybe I should be, but I, I don't think that that's possible. Okay, so this is what I want. I want the silent workhorse guy. Unless the democratic reformer don't care about more support. Ooh, military factory construction speed. That's kind of what I want. Naval base. Uh, don't really care too much about that. Don't care about civilian conversion just yet. Political power gang, 5% ideology drifts defense. Don't need to worry about that either. We're not going to drift to anything. All right, you know what? Yeah, we want war industrialist. Construction speed, 10%. Dockyard construction speed. Yeah, baby. Boom, let's do that. And then we'll get more We'll get more political power later on. Okay, so uh, we, let's see, it's 1937, which, and actually it's about to be 1938. We can start to jump into some of the 1938 technologies if we wanted to. Uh, is there anything too big that we get in 1938? Yes, there is. Support uh, weapons too. Let's grab that real quick. Boom, let's go after that. And uh, I don't need that to be selected anymore. There you go. All right, National Spain has a pretty good hold over Northern Iberia. So uh, that is that is not good. Oh, what else do we need? Do we need more stuff? Surplus, surplus. We need more oil. Oh, oh, but that should be coming, right? No, we've got all 16, right? Yeah, we, we okay, let's do it. Boom. Give it to him. We need that. We need the oil. It's America. It's America, baby. We need it. They're, they'll be fine. Everyone's like, I haven't really been checking so much on like support of anything. I want to make sure that, yeah. See, like that's why we don't want Nationalist Spain to win. They've got Z, they've got a hundred percent fascist. So, so it does mean something. Whoa, 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 Sweden. Oh wait, no. There you go. That brown and that that red are very similar. So, it's kind of tough. Uh, what about Iran? No, okay, no leanings there. In Iraq, though, 20% fascist. I think we might be able to do something with that. We might be able to do something with that. Okay, let's let's keep that in mind. Let me go after my next research. So, yeah, that would be improved infantry equipment, definitely. Grab that. Okay, perfect. And uh, how is the training going on in Yorkshire? Pretty okay. Oh, we got another. Okay, do we have 1938 planes? No, there's still 1940. We should still research all this stuff, though. Tactical bombers, heavy fighters. You know what? Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe I should go into more air or naval doctrines. Or engineering, yes. Or research, decrease research time. And we do have this decrease anyways here. Factory output. Right now, I'm really all about factory output. Let's go there. Let's let's jump in after this, and then we'll go in more into engineering and industry. I mean, I think we're we're kind of keeping up with equipment and stuff like that for the most part. <gasps> Dang. Dang it. All right. Well, that did uh, that sucks. I mean, National Spain is uh, gonna be on the Axis side. More than likely, they will join the Axis. Hmm. That's not good. All right, France. Hopefully you're ready for this because uh, things are not looking too good for you, man. Things are not looking too good for you. Uh, logistics, how are we looking? Logistically, we still need a lot more motorized and a lot more support. We definitely need support because I especially I added supports to my division, to my division. So let's uh, let's increase there. Now what do we need? Uh, we need more steel. Okay, well, I'll boost it up to two. There you go. Uh, civilian factories, we're starting to uh, obviously run low on civilian factories, I and mean, we're still building them. General rearmament. All right, so what do we got? W what's going on here? Uh, where is... Where is the... Um, 
the Iraq. Well, it was it was the it was embargo of the Soviet Union. Here it is. Boom. Secure Iraq. One of the more than more than twenty percent supports. They don't have more, but we need to keep this in mind, because then we get a war goal. That would be that'd be very fun right before World War II. Although we'd we'd probably they'd probably add to a lot of the tension uh, in the region. Um, maybe we should secure our. Uh, maybe we should secure our, our our democratic, or yeah, our democratic colonies technically. But this is kind of what I wanted: additional naval dockyards, amphibious warfare, uh, air rearmament, or we get more air bases. Not super worried about that though. Not super. Not not super worried about that. Let's let's. I I love more naval dockyards. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, we don't, not enough building. Wait, oh, the following will bypass the focus. Naval dockyards. Bypass what focus? Not enough building slots for naval dockyards. Oh. Oh. But we have additional, the following will bypass the focus. I'm guessing... We're gonna get additional, but that's the thing. We get additional building slots. I'm, I'm gonna go for it and see what happens. Uh, I'm not sure if that was just a confusing way to put it. Are we upgraded? Well, this tank is done. Here, let me, uh, let me take you guys out of there. Select you, and then add you to this front here. Tanks will be important now. I've got no. I don't think I've got any tanks in uh, this theater here, do I? I've got a cavalry unit, but weirdly enough. And I have no idea why. Why aren't my... Oh, the cavalry are a little bit faster. I was going to say, okay, there were some cavalry brigades that are not faster for some reason than the infantry. Uh, that I, that might have to do something with uh, the fact that these guys are kind of the more garrisoned units. But there were a few, and I don't know, it could be a crack that I was looking at, but I, I, I was noticing that there was some that weren't as fast. That's strange. It's very strange. Okay, anyways. So, uh, let's jump into... We can jump into here, although... Um, well, never mind. Well, I, I, I know that I want the decreased research time. Let me let me do this. 200 days, we'll deal with it. Decreased research, research time is too important. I also should consider probably, instead of just garrisoning these units, um, using some sort of fortification. I'm sorry, not fortification. Uh, front lines. How are we doing here? I mean, this is still going to be a problem because we're still not to our max yet. I can just begin to deploy these guys like I did before. Because we're not going to have the motorized. We're not going to have the support for a while. I think that's what I'll do. Yeah, boom. Let's get him in there. Let's get him training. And then, uh, and then they'll train, and that'll be good. Okay, we've got more research to go with. Uh, I'm thinking that I'm thinking. Let's lean towards. Oh, we can go for Marines too. No, we can't. It's not. No, that's 1939, Drew. That's 1939. That's you're close. <laughs> you're close. Uh, should I go military police? Still don't think I should. I still really don't think that it's super crucial. Yeah, let's do this. Um, ten percent defense, extra organization. I like that. We still have additional things that we can re we can research. Uh, definitely, let's go with King George. King George re uh, battleships. I'd love to build a few battleships. Keep us super safe out there. And I I think let's see, submarine surface de de detection, destroyer sub detection, battleship search and destroy. Fifty percent battleship organization. I don't know how many battleships we have. I am assuming we've got a hundred. We've got a, over a hundred destroyers, battle cruisers, battleships. We've got twelve, so I don't really want to jump into that part of the naval doctrine just yet. Destroyer sub detection, destroyer organization. We've got a lot of destroyers, so let's go ahead and do that. Boom! All right, let's do that there, and uh, and see how that goes. Convoys remains. So we still have six hundred seventy-four convoys. Don't really need much, much more of those. Uh, how's Ireland doing? Pretty okay. 
Germany, have you uh, have you thought about what you're gonna? Oh, okay, boom. So that's gonna happen with Austria. All right, so uh, there goes Austria. Naval rearmament, nice. Research speed for transport models and marine technology. Carrier focus. I don't want to really jump it. Oh, that's right. So we can go into core. Uh, we can continue forward here. Uh, let's. I, I, I don't see this. I don't see nationalist Spain changing. I think we should just fortify the rock. But I'm not going to yet. You know what I want to do? I want to protect the Suez and then figure out what I'm going to do to chorus either Greece or Turkey. I'm leaning towards Turkey just to be a little bit different. Oh, good. Naval dockyards. Okay. Um, let's focus on submarine building then. Yeah, let's do that. Improved infantry equipment. Very nice. Uh, it is still 1938, so we have a few few other options. Um, let's jump into... I guess we should go for the other air. Or, you know what? Maybe we should go here and, and figure out an air doctrine. Operational integrity. Wait a second. Engineering, though, is really important. Enables uh, radar, which is going to be also pretty crucial. Production efficiency cap. There we go. Yeah, we need that. All right, so Austria is gone. Uh, I've already pretty much said that I want more political power. There's nothing else that I really want, right? Air base. I mean, this is all great stuff to have too, but probably not at the moment. At the moment, we don't really need that. Let's go to silent work workhorse. Get some additional. Uh, yeah, so point three. So that will make a significant amount of difference. Significant, significant more amount of a difference. Fall of uh, Nanjing, Nanjing, which uh, that means Japan's doing all right, right? That's a, that's a country that I think it's actually a country that usually Ch the Chinese Republic takes over, right? I thought they were around here. Uh, either way, not not a big deal. All right, so this this is already gearing up, shaping up to be a pretty tough campaign with national Spain involved. Which I'm excited for. I, I I really I'm very excited for. I hope that uh, hopefully we can do this. How's uh how's France doing in this whole thing? Staying about the same. See, I don't want to. I don't want to spend political power for this. I mean, I guess I can guarantee their independence. Um, will cost twenty five diplomatic power as each guarantee increases the cost. It's only 1938, although it's starting... Yeah, we let us We should probably do that. Guarantees the independence of France. Means you will declare war on any country that attacks it. Guaranteeing will lower the world tension by 4.4. Oh, that's good. Uh, we will currently guarantee zero nations. Okay. Yeah, and then France will like us for that and uh, get them to join the Allies a little bit quicker. Uh, now, did, faction, did Poland form their own faction? No, they didn't. Okay, good. So, we might be able to get Poland, obviously, in the Allies at some point, hopefully. But, but we'll see. Anyways, guys, I'm going to stop right there. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.